A study of slums and resettlement colonies like Savda Kevra gave some considerations and assumptions for the design of EWS housing. Preservation of job, importance of spill out in open spaces, toilets in the house provoke gentrification to the next upper class. NGO operated community toilets are not utilized properly as they are pay per use. Design should provoke community and neighbor feeling. Amongst many tried models, chawl typology best suited to fulfill density and design issues. Courtyards could be used as pillower and celebration spaces. Street character could be promoted at every floor. Space could be saved in clubbing or stairs and services. Courtyards can reduce energy consumption through natural lighting and ventilation. The context of the site has an MCD dumping ground, a CCI plant, a container parking area, Tuklagabad railway station, a crematorium, and the ridge. The site enjoys longer edge towards south. The wind direction is predominantly westerly and northwesterly. A square of side 5 meters is taken. A quadrant is receded to create a balcony space which is to be modular. That is, it can be converted into a room or opened up when desired. Kitchen is a very important space and it should not obstruct in any other space. So, a kitchen alcove is projected out also creating a transition at the entrance of the house. Then, storage space is projected out into the unusable space. Partition walls on axis create separate rooms, which can also act as storage shelves in either rooms. Family of 5 or 6 can put walls for more room, whereas a small family can use house as a single room. Openings are such that cross ventilation occurs. The recessed entrance creates a transition from work. Social communication is enhanced as ladies of two houses can interact through kitchen windows. Almira alcoves are juxtaposed to break the elevational monotony and provide shade for the windows. Units are repeated around a courtyard to create a chawl, a social habitat. The vertical circulation can go in alternate corners and so can the wet areas saving space and resources. From a dwelling to a chawl, from a chawl to a cluster. The building has hierarchy of community spaces at various levels. The entrance stairway area 
the jaw courtyard, the double height space for upper floors, the intermediate terrace, and spill out spaces for the rental rooms. The staircase connects two jaws and brings people together, acting as a community space. Site has a main spine along which main facilities are located. Community center, schools, dispensary, space for transformers and sewage treatment plant, and market with mixed land use. Due to main spine, access of outsider is kept minimum. There is a network of arterial and primary roads. Secondary roads lead to chawls and end on cul-de-sacs, generating private secured street character. Intersection of secondary street on primary street forms the nodes. Width of the streets increases and decreases with the height of the buildings. There is a hierarchy of greens, the courtyard green, the greens on cul-de-sacs, and the mammoth green shared by clusters of chawls. There are almost no back lanes and all the chawls are climatologically designed. The buildings are designed with north-south orientation and lower southern section to maintain an aspect ratio of 1 is to 1. The solar panel facing southwards on terraces break the monotony in skyline and provide electrical energy to the power grid of the city. The wind is westerly in day and northwesterly in the evening in Delhi. Though streets are parallel to the hot wind direction, but they are obstructed by the cul de sacs created by the built facades. Punctures on the facades give way to cooler northwestern winds in the evening, creating environmental sustainability for the entire area. 